Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at the process to upgrade Windows 7 to Windows 11. This video is not meant to be a tutorial. This video is just to show you the process to see how the process has been updated and if it is possible to upgrade existing devices running Windows 7 to Windows 11. Before we move on, I have also created other videos, including one that shows the clean installation process of Windows 11, one highlighting the upgrade process from Windows 10, and another demonstrating all the new UI changes and features. You can find the links for those videos in the description below. Also, I have created two files to see if during the installation, the process will keep our files. It should, but we don't know. So we're going to test it out. Okay, to upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 11, I'm going to launch the installer. And now I'm just going to click next. Okay, so here we are on the step that allows us to choose what to keep. As you can see, the keep files and apps is grayed out. I can select it. I can only keep my files or delete everything. And if you can see at the bottom, it says that your files, apps, and settings can't be kept because you are installing an edition of Windows that's different than the one you're currently using. So if you were hoping to bring all your apps from Windows 7 to Windows 11, that won't be the case, at least not this time. For the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use the key personal files only, and I'm going to click next. And now to proceed with the upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 11, we're just going to click the install button. Okay, and that concluded the upgrade process from Windows 7 to Windows 11. And before we're shown the desktop, we're getting the screen that allows us to set our, our privacy settings. Once you selected the settings that you want, just click the set button to continue. And that's it. That's how you upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 7. As you can see, the screen is a lot smaller. That's because throughout the process, the setup removed all the programs, including drivers. And that's what I need to install to how the screen looks right now. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video and fix that problem. Okay, so I installed the video drivers and now we can see that the screen has been fixed. Also, you probably noticed that we didn't go through the normal out of box experience. So Windows didn't bother us to create a Microsoft account or anything like that. It just used that local account that was available on Windows 7 and brought it up to Windows 11. As you can also see, the two files that I left on the Windows 7 desktop has been preserved so you can upgrade keeping your files but still you always need to make a backup before upgrading or making any system changes on your computer now that we upgraded 
to Windows 11. I want to try also if I can roll back to the previous version, which I should be able, but we're going to see if that's the case. We're just going to do that from I didn't update in security and on recovery under go back to Windows 7. We're just going to click the go back button. We're just going to select a reason and click next. We're going to skip updates. And then we're just going to go through these screens. And then to roll back, I'm just going to click the go back to Windows 7 button. And that's it. Now we're back into Windows 7 and the files have been kept. So that's a good thing. And that's how you also roll back from Windows 11 to Windows 7. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.